Welcome to the second video for Engineering in 4 course. Um, in this video, what we want to do is calculus and we're going to differentiate the following sum. So let's get right into it. So the first thing I'll do is just write it down. We have uh, 3 times 7 to the power of 2x plus 5 log with the x there. So the base will be 10 log base 10 with the x there minus cos 2x plus 3 10x over 2 sine x. Right, so the first thing I would like to do is actually simplify uh, this fraction as far as I can so that I can have separate terms with our own ratios or trig ratios and then I'll be able to differentiate. So let me do that instead of maybe going like the quotient uh, rule method. So let's have 3x, 3 times 7, 2 to the power of um, 7, 7 to the power of 2x plus 5 log x right and then we're going to have minus now i'm going to split this fraction here so this is over that that over this but i also simultaneously want to cancel out the cost maybe i'll change this cost 2x into the double angle of 1 minus 2 sine squared x and we just divide this by 2 sine x right plus over here we're gonna have three um three sine x over cos x divided by sine x well sine 2x but remember i'm just gonna change the division into a multiplication so we have one over two sine x I'm writing it this way so that we can see what needs to cancel. And let's cancel out real quick. This is going to cancel out with that. And this is going to cancel out with one of those. And that and those guys are also going to cancel. But remember to also bring the half there. All right, let's simplify this and let's see what we have so that we can uh, start differentiating. So it's 3 times 7 to the power of 2x plus 5 log x minus i'm gonna have uh 1 over 2 sine x like that and then i'm going to have a uh, a positive right okay i'll wait when i'm splitting these things i needed to put the brackets in there yeah so um yeah so let's just put a bracket in there we just deal with the negative later on okay just put a bracket in there and this minus will multiply at the end so i'm still gonna put a bracket here so i'm gonna have one over two sine x and then i'm gonna have minus well minus sine x because these guys would have cancelled out and one of the signs at the top would have cancelled out. Plus, over here in this term, I'm going to have a 3 at the top, definitely, and no other trig ratio at the top. And at the bottom, I'm going to have a 2 cos x in brackets. Because remember, this negative still has to multiply with the answers inside. Right, so this looks a lot cleaner. We can definitely work with this. So let's just uh, rewrite it as 3, uh, 3 times 7, 2x to the power of 2x plus 5 log x. Uh, now I'm going to multiply this in. So I'm going to have a negative a half of, you know, 1 over, 1 over sine sin x is simply cosec. And I know what the derivative of cosec is. So cosec x is what I'm going to have minus, well, plus, because I'm multiplying the negative n to get sine x there. I multiply the negative n, I get 3 over 2 uh, sec x. Now, this looks very nice and we'll be able to differentiate it. No problem. So, yeah. So, basically, what we wanted to do is make sure that in the 
first step we have everything uh differentiated um i mean all the terms split it so that we are able to differentiate a lot better right so now in the next step all we want to do is we find now the derivative the derivative of this first term is going to be 3 times 7 to the power of 2x right now when I differentiate the 7 to the power of 2x, I leave it as it is, and I, I'm going to uh, introduce a lean 7, because lean base, and then and now I need to differentiate the 2x, so times 2, when I differentiate the 2x, chain differentiation, plus, uh, when I dif differentiate log x, it's always going to be x lean the base, which is 10, right and at the top i'm left with the five minus well no longer minus because the derivative of cosec is is a negative so this is going to be a positive uh positive a half of cosec x um cosec x cot x right that's going to be the der derivative of this portion here positive and then the derivative of sine x is just positive cos, cos x. And the derivative of, uh, okay, just what's going on here? The derivative of the last one over there, uh, the derivative of sec is going to be um, sec tan. So we're going to have a positive negative 3 over 2 sec x tan x. Now we can just simplify this so that we write it a bit neater. So in this term, the 2 and the 3 can actually multiply to give us 6 uh, times 7 to the power of 2x lean 7. There's nothing more we can do there. This is already written in its uh, simplest form. And this we can rewrite it as cosec x cot x over 2 plus cos x minus 3 sec x tan x over 2. And that's how you differentiate this one. So you just, you need to have to, you need to practice a lot of these questions so that in the exam, you'll be able to have a clear path on what you need to do. So if you like this video, please subscribe and share with everybody and I'll see you in the next one.